Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a reborn look realistic like in a car seat. So like the first most important thing in my opinion would be um, definitely having a car seat insert like this one or the one that's in my other car seat which is like more just the head but um, the smaller your baby is the more um, like insert and padding you want in the car seat so they look really snug and safe that is the first thing the second thing is you can add like accessories like pads and different things like on the shoulders um, but those aren't necessary um, another tip I want to show you is if your car seat isn't tight enough at the bottom level for a small baby, put it at the very top because you can tighten it more than you would if it was at the bottom, which is something I recently learned and is a really great hack for people with smaller babies, which are more common than the, you know, six, three to six and nine month babies. Okay, the second thing is when you put your baby in, you want to just get them nice and comfortable and you can go ahead and buckle them in. You want to make sure the straps are like a good tightness as well. So I'm going to put Lily in here and then I'm going to make sure the pad is nice on her head. I'm sorry if it looks like I'm being rough with her, but it's kind of hard to get her down into this uh, area with the pad on and make sure she's completely buckled like that. And then as well as the other side, you never want to just partially buckle them, especially if people are going to be able to see into the car seat. And there you go. And then just, you know, like I said, making sure everything looks realistic and nice and comfortable. I would put her arms by the side. And pacifiers are definite, especially if you have open mouth babies. I would definitely suggest pacifiers. And then the next thing I would suggest is socks because you want to cover up as much as their um, limbs as possible because the babies do like move and wiggle a lot. And so by covering up um, their toes and their hands, you can't really tell that she's not moving. It just looks like they're, you know, covered up, which is not an uncommon thing. And I don't really have any socks that match this outfit very well. The next thing I would suggest is scratch, scratching mittens. Now, obviously you can use socks as scratching mittens, but I happen to have some real ones that I've gotten recently. So I would also suggest those as well, especially for babies that have kind of weirder, more awkward like positions, like if their hand is like this or like this, I've seen that, or like just completely straight out. Um, different things like that and then of course you can do a hat as well and that way there's minimal like there's maximum coverage of her body and so the only thing that you can really see is her face which would be pretty still anyway especially because she's preemie sized as well as a sleeping kit so you can see how I just obviously turn her head to the side so it looks like she's resting because most babies wouldn't just be sitting straight up in a car seat um, the next thing that you can do is add different accessories. I have a pacifier clip here. Um, you can also put a bottle in there or a sippy cup. Um, just different things that you would see in a real baby's car seat. You can um, add little decor on the, like you could add toys to the rail. Um, because of her size, I'm not gonna do that. And then you can add a blanket. You always wanna make sure your baby is weather appropriate. It is in between summer and fall right now, so it's about 80 to 90 degrees on a daily basis. So she wouldn't, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to put her in a blanket currently. And also I'd probably put her in shorter sleeves. Um, I just really like the dress on her because that is kind of like a summery thing. And then obviously you want to make sure that Patsy stays in. This one is modified a little too small for her, but I still really like it with the outfit. Want it? <laughs> And so that is how I make my babies look realistic in their car seat. And another great tip is if you are a little more shy and you don't want everyone peeking in to the baby, there's a really simple technique. It's just put a blanket, put it under the handle so you can still hold it. And it's less likely to come off if it's directly under the handle. 
and then no one can see in and she is all covered and you can have you know the option of uncovering her and saying peekaboo and then you know closing her back up you can also get an actual car seat cover um i have a reversible one that has you know a more boyish design and a more girly design for both of my babies when i do go out so yeah i hope this was um helpful please comment any video suggestions you have and uh please like and subscribe